Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today we'll be doing our lecture number 4A, property of the pure substance. And, um, and yes, we'll be doing the numerical side of it. Uh, yes, uh, today we'll be also introducing the one of the new concepts, which is called as interpolation. Before go, we go to the interpolation, or what is interpolation? Uh, let's 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 uh, read out the question first. Uh, the question say like uh, determine uh, the temperature and quality if defined um, for the water at the pressure of 300 kPa and each of the following volume. So we have been given two different uh, properties. One is actually the pressure, and one and one is actually the specific volume. So what we have to do, like in these one, we have to find the temperature and quality if it is defined. Quality is only and only defined when we are inside the vapor dome. So if we are outside the vapor dome, which is actually a superheated region or a compressed region, the quality X is not defined. The quality is only and only defined when we are inside the vapor dome. So obviously it's like if we are inside the vapor dome, so what would be the quality of the system? Uh, quality of this uh, uh, of the water, sorry. So let, determine the temperature and quality defined for 300 kPa and the specific volume. So let's uh, let's read it out the first one or let's do the first one. So we have got a uh, pressure. Uh, we have got a uh, pressure of uh, 300 kPa and a volume of 0.5 cubic meter per kg. Now if you go to the steam table so obviously there would be a steam table of uh, temperature as well and there would be steam table of uh, pressure so pressure is 300 kpa which come up as uh, 0.3 mega pascal if you can just check the uh, corresponding temperature at 0.3 mega pascal it will come up as 133.53 uh, degree centigrade and the volume which are two different volume given it is volume of Vf and volume Vg over here. So volume Vf is equal to 0.001732 and volume Vg is equal to 0 .0 0 0.6053, 0 0.60579. Our given volume is 0 0.5 cubic meter per kg. That means like our given volume is greater than Vf. And obviously, if you can look at the value of Vg, so our given volume is less than Vg now. So that would mean like we are inside the vapor dome. So if we are inside the vapor dome, so that simply say like the quality would be defined now. So let's go to the blank page and let's say uh, for the value of quality, V is equal to Vf. And obviously, I would be looking at not specific V, and that would be actually small V. V would be equal to Vf plus X Vf G. Uh, let me write it down then. G, and that's what actually our mathematical equation should look like. Um, and yes we have G. so let's see we will be having this one now so v is equal to v uh, plus x we have G. so in this case x is equal to v minus v divided by vg minus v so just solve this one and you would be having a quality which would be equal to x would be equal to 0.825 that was a very simple one and um, obviously let's move forward to the and the other bit of it and that is actually the the second part now looking at the second part if i would say um the specific volume is same uh so no sorry the pressure is same while the specific volume is now changed to 1.0 meter per kg uh, going back, uh, obviously, you have noticed that uh, 1.0, if we have got a 1.0 cubic meter per kg volume, so this 1.0 is definitely greater than the 0 0.60579, which means like we are in a superheated region. So I would rub it out first thing, these things. So 
let's move forward to the superheated table. So in a superheated table, just look at it, the superheated table first, and then obviously, uh, then we would look at pressure, uh, looking at the, our, our own problem. Uh, there are two different uh, uh, properties given. One is actually the pressure, and one is the temperature. So the pressure is given in a column form, which is actually there, and the temperature is given in a row form, which is somewhere here. You can find different steam table. You can find different steam table of different style. There might be uh, like both of them would be in a row, or it might be both of them in a column. But the main feature would be uh, the pressure and temperature would be independent of each other. You can also find different other value in the steam table as well. If you can look at this one. You can find the volume. You can find the enthalpy, and you can find the entropy in this table. Okay, how do we read it? Just by the uh, temperature, uh, sorry, pressure, which is equal to 0 0.3 megapascal. If you can check this temperature, and if you remember just now, uh, it was 103.53 is our saturation temperature. Now, look at the other bit. We, we are interested in the volume of it, which is 0 0.3 corresponding to 0 0.3 we are looking at the volume which is equal to 1.0 cubic meter d now go to the column go to the row wise and obviously looking at the volume which would be equal to 1.0 itself we have got a, a, a volume of 0 0.9536 we have got a volume of 1.0315 but but we do not have got a volume of 1.0 just checking the temperature up there so we have got a volume of 0 0.9 somewhere in the uh, 350 and we have got a volume of 1.10315 at the temperature of 4, 450, 400, 400 degrees centigrade. so what actually is obvious over here um, let me take a snapshot of this one so we can have another so taking the snapshot and let me paste the snapshot over here. So so what we have got again over here is we have got a volume of 0 0.9 which is at corresponding to 350 degrees centigrade. We have got a volume of 1.0315, which is corresponding to 400 degrees centigrade, but we do not have got a temperature which correspond to our own volume of 1.0, which also mean like if I can draw a little bit over here, which also mean like if I draw it on a temperature and volume diagram, so what we have got here is I have got a volume of 0 0.9536 corresponding to 350 degrees centigrade. And I have got a volume of 1.0315 corresponding to 400 degree centigrade sorry for this so take my temperature up there okay but i do not have got a temperature which correspond to my own volume of 1.0 so i do not have got a temperature which is temperature is not known. so how do we solve it if you can look at what your previous knowledge would be in on in uh, in my own i would say like thought your previous knowledge is like okay we have got a temperature of 350 and we have got a temperature of 400 and volume our volume is somewhere in between them two in between i'm saying so that would mean like just 
plus 0.9536 plus 1.0315 divided by 2 would be equal to, should be equal to 3.350 plus 400 divided by 2. That means like you can take the average of the uh, two temperature and you can find it. But the average of the temperature would come up as 375 while if you can even average this one divided by 2 actually so it would not come as 1.0 so what you would be doing you would be taking again and again average and average and then obviously it will not be uh, there there is another method we call it as intercalation let's see let's check it and that's it uh, i'm just drawing a straight line i'm sorry for that uh, it should look like a straight line so this is called as interpolation and what is interpolation interpolation mean like interpolating a value between two values that mean like we have got 350 we have got 400 and we have got a value which would be somewhere between 350 and 400 so that's why we are interpolating the value now so how do we interpolate it so this is this method is called as linear interpolation what we are assuming that as the temperature go from 350 to 400 the volume would be going from 0 0.9536 to 1.03315 and them both actually three uh, temperature and volume they are actually moving in a straight line this is what actually our assumption is and that assumption is would be valid for uh, all of our engineering courses if, even if i'm talking about the power plant in a final year as well so this is what we call it as a linear interpolation so remember in linear interpolation if i would say like interpolation and remember the graph which actually you can see on my screen now so it does look like a straight line actually and a straight line can be defined with the straight line slope. Then, uh, if you remember, straight line slope is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So something like this. And if you can just go for the um, our own value, so that would be m would be equal to what would be y2 t2 minus t1 divided by x2 minus not x2 v2 minus so that would be the slope of let's suppose let's suppose slope of these two lines from 400 to 350 and also i can have another slope which be which would which would be somewhere this one actually so that would be actually so if i would say like my slope m2 would be equal to t which we need to be find out minus t1 divided by v which is actually 1.0 minus v1 which is actually somewhere this one that's right so in other words if i would just say like two of the slopes of the straight line would be equal so that mean like t2 minus t1 divided by v2 minus v1 should be equal to t which need to be found out minus t1 divided by 1.0 which is given minus v1 you can call it if i would say like if you are a little bit confused call it t naught t naught and if i would say like this volume Call it v naught so that means like v naught would be equal to 1.0 but anyway anyway you can actually have any any i would say like uh aberration for you like so in this case 350 uh, is equal to 450 sorry 400 minus 350 divided by 1.0315 minus 0 0.9536 should be equal to t naught which need to be find out not mean like need to be find out i would say 
minus T1 was actually 350 divided by V0, which was 1.0 minus V1, which was equal to 0 0.9536. And let me solve this one, and that would be T0, or if I was like T required, would be equal to. So the temperature I have calculated 